Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where this time we are looking at 10 of the most intelligent transfers of the summer. Not all great business has to break the bank, as these 10 players all demonstrate. Let's go. 10. Jan Vertonghen to Benfica In 1920, it was a straight shootout between Toby Alderweireld and Jan Vertonghen to see who would secure a new contract at Tottenham. Ultimately, they plumped for the younger man, and a 33-year-old Vertonghen was released after eight seasons in North London. It wasn't long before Benfica snapped him up on a three-year deal, and the Portuguese giants should be quietly delighted with their tidy piece of business. Last season, the 120 captain international may have begun to show some wear and tear, but he still performed admirably. From 23 Premier League appearances, the Tongan still made 2.9 clearances per game, won 2.6 aerials and completed 83% of his passes. Even transfer marks still value him at £13 million, showing what an asset he remains. Benfica have developed a knack of producing and selling some stunning talent for significant profits over the years. Having an exceptional and experienced leader like Vertonghen around to help guide their next generation of talent on their path to stardom will only be a benefit. On and off the pitch, Vertonghen should thrive in Lisbon. 9. Fernando Marçal to Wolves So far, Wolverhampton Wanderers' transfer window has been defined by their annual raid of Portugal's young stars. 18-year-old Fabio Silva joined from FC Porto for £36 million, along with the equally intriguing Vitinha, who will cost £18 million in 12 months' time. Amidst all the money spent on talented teenagers, it shouldn't be forgotten that Wolves have also signed former Lyon left-back Fernando Marçal. The Brazilian joins from France for a mere £1.8 million and should have no problems adapting to the Premier League. The 31-year-old plays with all the bite and guile Nuno Santo desires of his defenders. Last season, he made the most interceptions per match of anyone in the Lyon squad, won 3.5 tackles per 90 and was successful with a team-best 44% of his pressures. Put simply, when Leon lost possession, there was no one more eager to win the ball back than Marcel. Wolves may have lost Mac Doherty to Tottenham, but in Marcel, they couldn't have found a better quality and more cost-effective replacement. 8. Callum Wilson to Newcastle It was inevitable that Callum Wilson would leave relegated Bournemouth this summer. The 28-year-old is a full England international and proven top-level goalscorer, having netted 41 times in 126 Premier League appearances for the Cherries. 1920 may not have been his finest to date, only scoring eight times in the league, but he wasn't helped by Bournemouth's ineffective costly signings and an injury to principal creator David Brooks. They only scored 40 times all season, the lowest return in their five-year stay in the top flight. Wilson needed a fresh start, and Newcastle United were more than happy to oblige, beating off Aston Villa to secure the former Coventry man for £20 million. What's more, the Magpies desperately needed a new frontman. Joe Linton is so far a costly mistake, only scoring twice last term despite his £40 million price tag. Compared to the Brazilian, Wilson boasts a superior conversion rate hits the target more and takes more shots per game. Joe Linton may have held on to the famous number 9 shirt, but there is no doubt who will be the main man at St. James's Park next season. 7. Adil Alshish St. Etienne suffered a dismal 1920 that was only worsened by the financial implications of the Ligue 1 cancellation. Unable to afford any significant signings, current boss Claude Puel instructed his scouts to find talent he could develop moving forward. And in Alshish, they may have more than met his demands. Alshish is another exceptional product of the PSG Academy, who decided to leave the capital to continue his development. This has angered the Parisians, who had already lost the highly rated Tanguy Nianzu to Bayern Munich. Saint Etienne, however, were more than happy to offer Alshish the first team opportunities he craved, handing the 18 year old his first professional contract in July. The French starlet is a gifted attacking midfielder who scored 16 and assisted 8 in 25 games for his nation's under-17 side, and he's wasted little time making an impression at his new club. Put straight into the starting XI for Saint Etienne's opening win against Lorient, he completed 5 shots and key passes, and even 3 dribbles across the 90 minutes. It's early days, but it could be quite the season for Alshish. 6. Mohamed Salisu to Southampton One name we've been talking about all year is Mohamed Salisu. The 21-year-old centre-half was a man in demand after an exceptional breakout season in the Liga. Only five other players managed more clearances than the Ghanaian in 1920, while he ranked in the top 10 for tackles made as well. Talk of a £10.8 million release clause in his contract sent the rumour mills into overdrive as they tried to predict Salisu's next club, but it was Southampton who would ultimately bring him in, proving more than happy to meet his comfortable asking price. 
everything suggests this is a perfect piece of business. Under Hassan Hootal, Southampton have returned to their style of developing young and exciting talent, while playing attractive football in the process, and Salisu more than fits what they are after. He will need time to adapt to the Premier League, but with Hassan Hootal guiding him along, there is no reason to suggest the Ghanaian won't become a star of the future. 5. Oscar Rodriguez to Sevilla Amid the turmoil of relegation, one of the shining lights for Leganes last season was Oscar Rodriguez. The attacking midfielder was on loan with the La Liga minnows from Real Madrid and proved a beacon of hope in their doomed fight for survival. He netted nine times and assisted twice in the league, finishing as the club's top scorer after Martin Braithwaite was controversially pinched by Barcelona. And despite not even being a forward, he still managed 27 shots on target the seventh most in the division. It was inevitable that Rodriguez was destined for bigger things than Leganes. It just remained to see whether his future lied with Real Madrid or elsewhere. In the end, Los Blancos opted to sell to Sevilla for a mere 12 million pounds, though retained 25% of his rights. From Sevilla's perspective, it's still excellent value for a 21-year-old even included in the most recent Spanish national side. Rodriguez now has Champions League football to contend and a quality selection of players to call teammates. So it it could be the perfect move for all concerned. 4. Robin Koch to Leeds United Leeds United fans were understandably gutted at Brighton's refusal to sell Ben White. The 22-year-old was exceptional for the Peacocks on loan last season. He played the most minutes of anyone in the championship and registered the most interceptions, while Leeds collected over two points per game with the Englishman on the pitch. White's departure left a huge hole in Marcelo Bielsa's defence, but everything suggests that could be more than filled by their new signing Robin Koch. The 24-year-old arrives from Freiburg in Germany with an excellent reputation, having cemented himself as a Bundesliga regular in 1920. From 31 starts, he made an excellent 6.1 defensive actions per game, completed 85% of his passes and ranked 5th overall for aerial dual wins. What's more, he only cost an initial £12 million, significantly less than what Brighton were demanding for White. Naturally, it will take time for Koch to adapt to Bielsa's system, but with three years of top-flight experience and with three German caps to his name, the young centre-half could prove to be one of the finds of the summer. 3. Thomas Meunier to Dortmund The decision to sign free agent Thomas Meunier was probably one of the easiest Borussia Dortmund have ever had to make. The Belgian right-back had grown tired of his lack of appreciation at PSG, having only started on average 17 Ligue 1 games per season during a four-year spell in the French capital. The fact he never averaged more than 0.5 dribbles per game probably let his highlights reel down. But take a closer look and it's clear to see why Dortmund was so keen to sign him. In short, PSG were better with Meunier on the pitch. They lost 15.5% of their league games without him, compared to 3.9% when he played. Not only that, with Meunier around, they consistently scored more and conceded fewer and won 8% more of their games overall. It's no wonder the former club Bruges star has collected 40 caps for Belgium in his career. At Dortmund, Meunier has been given the difficult task of replacing Hakimi, but at 28 years old and costing absolutely nothing, there is no doubting what an excellent signing this is. 2. Ferran Torres to Manchester City one of the best deals you will see all summer is Manchester City's acquisition of rising Spanish star Ferran Torres. The 20-year-old winger joins from Valencia, where his dazzling displays on the wing had quickly made him a fan favourite. Though he only scored four and assisted five in La Liga last term, only Rodrigo and Maxi Gomez took more shots than him all season while only Gonzalo Guedes betted his 1.6 dribbles per game. The club had wanted to hold on to Torres for longer, but with his contract set to expire in 2021 and no sign of an extension on the horizon, Valencia chairman Peter Lim sanctioned his cut price £20.7 million sale. Transfer marked rate him at nearly double that value. Not only have Manchester City unearthed a bargain, but an excellent replacement for Leroy Sané, who switched to Bayern Munich, could have easily made this list too. Torres is by no means the finished article, but under Guardiola's tutelage, he could well become a genuine superstar in the near future. 1. James Rodriguez to Everton It's hard not to get excited when seeing James Rodriguez in the Premier League. Yes, he hardly played last season, and yes, he hasn't started more than 20 league games in a single campaign since 14-15, but an inform James is still a force to be reckoned with. 
It's worth remembering that between 2017 and 2019, the playmaker scored 15 and assisted 17 in just 32 Bundesliga starts while on loan at Bayern Munich. In that period, no member of Bayern's squad managed more key passes than the former Monaco man, while in 1819 he topped the charts for expected assists per 92. Irrelevant of last season, it's still remarkable that Everton managed to capture the Colombian superstar from Real Madrid. James has reunited with Carlo Ancelotti, a manager who has signed him on two other occasions. On his day, he is a huge upgrade on Everton's current options in midfield. So if the Italian can get Hammers ticking again, then the Toffees could finally emerge as the force they are so desperate to become. And that's all we have time for today, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Bye for now.